Okay, so now I'm going to tell you uh, how to solve optimization problems, which is always one of the key uh, topics in calculus, right? Like you are always interested in finding the max and mean of a function. And now what we want to do is uh, do uh, like solve those problems in the cases of say like the function depends on two variables instead of one. So let me just remind you uh, how the story went for the one dimensional case. Say if you have a function of one variable we were interested in finding the critical points of this function and uh, that just meant the points where uh, if you remember uh, in the most uh, in most of the cases that uh, that could mean that the derivative was undefined at a specific point like in absolute value where the derivative was undefined at the origin but uh, for most practical applications what uh, we were interested in was the case where the derivative was zero so if you think of the derivative as being zero, that means that the slope of the tangent line is zero. And so in other words, the critical points were characterized by the fact that the tangent line was parallel to the x-axis. Uh, and this was a critical point. And so uh, the natural analog of, for us of a critical point uh, let me just say one variable case I think that sounds better If you think of uh, of the natural analog of our situation would be uh, one where now you have a function of two variables and the graph looks like a function of uh, the graph looks like a surface right and so again uh, The model case for a surface for us is the umbrella. And basically, a critical point would be one where the, like the top of the umbrella, where now instead of the line being parallel to the x axis, you would have the tangent plane being parallel to the floor, to the xy plane. Okay? So, this, uh, if you think of this as a tangent plane, then the, the critical point is characterized by the tangent planes being parallel to the floor. And so for example, this could not be a critical point. Okay? So maybe I should make something more, which looks a uh, uh, like a surface with, with more candidates for having critical points, which is uh, something like this. So maybe if your surface looks like this, then what I mean by critical point will be one point where now a critical point will be a point where the tangent plane vanishes. Sorry, not the tangent plane vanishes, but the tangent plane is parallel to the xy plane. Okay, so there was a major glitch. Uh, let me just repeat what I was saying, which you didn't see. 
So we want to determine whether where the tangent plane is parallel to the uh, xy plane, right? Uh, what you would expect that to be is just that the, that happens whenever the two partial derivatives vanish because that's just the analog of this condition. Now, the equation of the tangent plane was really this one that we had found before. Right here, p is just this point, x0, y0, which we expect to be a critical point. So this should be one of the points where the tangent plane is parallel to the xy plane. And so what you can do is just play with this condition and rearrange it so that everything that involves the variables what are the variables in this situation? This is a variable, this is a variable, this is a variable. So everything that has a variable goes to the left-hand side of the equation. So z remains in place. You move this with a minus sign to the left-hand side and you move this to the, minus, uh, to the other side with a minus sign. Okay, and then you just move everything else to the, to the right-hand side so you move this as f of x naught y naught and then you just do the product here and then you do this other product here and so what you find is that you get something times x something times y something times z equals a mess right but that has precisely the same structure as the usual equation for a tangent plane if you call this a and b and c right so you get like ax plus by plus cz equals d, okay? And from that, it, this means that, uh, again, the normal vector, you can just read from the coefficients of the equation of the plane. And so the condition that uh, the plane has to be parallel to the xy plane just translates into the condition that a and b have to be zero because remember that the normal vector to the xy plane is just a vector k. Okay, so if a and b are zero, that means that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is zero at that point, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is zero at that point. So we will make this into a definition uh, next okay so let me give you the definition of a critical point and in the next video we'll do some examples where we find critical points so that you see how to do it but uh what's our definition for a critical point of uh, the notion of critical point of uh, a function uh, so P is a critical point uh, if one of the two conditions happen let me call it uh, P x comma y critical point of if either so the first option is that uh, one of the partial derivatives is undefined at that point which again this you should think as the analog of saying that zero is a critical point for absolute value of x uh, it's not what we will worry about most of the time for practical problems but it's just uh, I guess something to keep in mind to pay lip service to uh, but yeah like in most optimization examples like in real world examples uh, you almost never encounter this option but it's one that could potentially happen and the more interesting 
possibility, the, the, the one that you really have to think about, is that uh, precisely this condition will take place, meaning that uh, both of the partial derivatives vanish. So in the next video, I'll do an example, um, a couple of examples where we start finding critical points uh, functions. We'll do this multiple times. So after we know how to find critical points, the next question will be how to classify them, right? And for that, we will try to use like an analog of a second derivative test, which I will also explain. Uh, mini typo that I need to fix. Uh, this should be partial derivative with respect to y. Uh, 